to the Barstool Sports Advisor, America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan, Big Cat Caps. And the source, Stu Finer. Welcome to Sunday morning. We are your Barstool Sports Advisors. I am joined by my good friends and colleagues, Dave Portnoy, Stu the Source, Finer, Tommy Scabelli, Tommy Smokes, aka Vape God, and the lovely Hannah. Guys, let's get right into it. We've had the Thanksgiving feast. We all won on Thanksgiving. It was a great Thanksgiving. Uh, it was Michigan beat Ohio State yesterday. These are all things I'm saying as fact, even though we're taping it a week in advance. Yep. Dave, what do you think about Michigan beating Ohio State? Needed it. It's a big win. Yep. Playoffs. Uh, now we got Northwestern, so hopefully roll over them and then feed me Alabama. Oh, okay. All right. So then, then feed me Alabama. Let's just hope that that actually happened. Okay, guys, this is a terrible slate for a Sunday this late in the season. We get we get the little mix up where there's three games on Thanksgiving, you got a Monday night game. It's not a great slate, but guess what? We still gotta get there, we still gotta put on our hard hats, we still gotta gamble. And who cares, honestly? And who cares? Gambling right. slates it doesn't don't matter. matter. Slates right. are for the suits and the ivory right. towers. You give you give me the the Pittsburgh Steelers versus a local Yinzer high school team minus two fifty, I'm talking two hundred and fifty points. I'll still bet it. Yeah, I, I'll still I, I bet mean, it. at the time. I'm going to take 247 with Yeshiva. Yeah, yeah there we go. Taping, time of taping, I am betting on Tulane, South Dakota State, and College Hoops yes. just because. I have that Tulane first half over. Okay, let's get into the games. Let's start the Patriots coming off a bye, minus nine and a half at the New York Jets. The Jets are also coming off a bye. Fun fact, the entire AFC East was on a bye together. The over-under is 47. The Jets, the last time we saw the Jets, maybe the most despicable performance I've ever seen by a football team. They let Matt Barkley come into their joint and run up and down the field, killed them. The Patriots also coming off a little bit of an embarrassing loss, a blowout to Mike Vrabel, their ex-player, their former player. So Dave, as the Patriots whisper, I'll start with you, minus nine and a half. Should we take it? Well, here's the thing. Uh, traditionally, believe it or not, now there are some exceptions. Everybody remembers butt fumble on uh, Thanksgiving when the Jets embarrassed themselves. But the Patriots generally do struggle at the Meadowlands. It's some, a place they don't win a lot. Well, they do win a lot, but they don't win easy. Um, having said that, it's Patriots-Jets. There's certain rules in gambling. You're not going to get rich taking the Jets first. the Patriots. Just not. It's a huge spread. It makes me very nervous. But as the Patriot whisper, I've said this, if you're paying attention, when I am uncomfortable about the Patriots is when they play their best. I am very uncomfortable this week. I think this is actually a closer game than the experts think. That is why you should love the Patriots. Lay the points. They will end up winning this game big, even though I don't think so. But that's why they will take the Patriots off the bye. They need this game. Okay, Stu. Tell me who you like. Well, um, last time we saw the Patriots, I told you the Titans are going to humiliate them, yep. and they did. And I think they lose for the second straight week in a row, even if you want to count the bye three weeks. Two, two well, no, big, I'm not going to count that bye as a two loss. Two no, big losses I'm in not a three-week cycle. I'm not going to count that bye as two a loss. Two big losses in a three-week cycle. The, the week they didn't play, I'm not counting two as a big loss. losses Five in a three-week cycle. do not count as losses. I just well, checked with the league you offices. Get they do not. you 34-10 and you're supposed to be a football team, I'd say it counts. No, because the pain is still there. The humiliation is still there. And I don't think Tom Brady forgot it. Do you well, think Bill that, Belichick that, forgot it? That's saying good Didn't things for the Patriots. Didn't ruin their week? Well, then, no, no, then I, you should bet the Patriots. If I think that the mad. Patriots are going to be flat again. I just don't see them rolling hmm. into New York. It's going to be cold. And there's yeah, a lot of love involved weather. with the Thanksgiving week. First of all, as you know, I'm big on Thanksgiving. I don't take it for granted. All I show and I profess love and unity for the world. That's number one. Number two, there's going to be no love and unity for the New York Jets when they humiliate the New England Patriots. This will be their signature Whoa. win of the year. Jets blow them out by 10, not by three, not by seven, not by a fluke, by 10. So you could play a little bit, sprinkle it, money line, and Jets plus nine and a half as a best bet. It's all Jets. It's J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Are they going to beat them as bad as you said the Eagles would beat the Saints last week? Uh, no, absolutely not. Oh, No, okay. absolutely not. Good, um, good. How about my best bet of the Colts, though? You could say the Colts no, I had the them Titans. Too. I know, but it was my, oh, it's all best bets. Okay. It was all best bets. Let's check in with Hannah and the weather. What's the weather going to be like in New York on Sunday? Weather in New York is going to be 54 with some rain. 
Okay, thank you, Hannah. Uh, Tommy, Tommy, give me a stat. Give it to me. What, what show is this? Okay, Tommy is the vape god now. He's not even part of this show Pete anymore. Too. He's with his friends Pete Davidson and Lauren Michaels. He's going to the after party. He's with Chevy Chase doing a little, you know, this and that. You know what I'm saying. Dave. I need luck. Yeah. Tommy, you were hired because you're my lucky guy. Stay lucky, stay focused, stay grounded. Okay, so I'm going to take this. This is back to basics. This is super simple. Sam Darnold's probably going to start, right? Sam Darnold stinks. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So, no, take the stinks. Patriots. They're going to win by two touchdowns. That's going to be easy. Next game up. The Giants at the Eagles. Oh boy, do the Eagles stink. I have ripped off Super Bowl defending champions off of them. They do not get called that anymore. After you lose like you lost to the Saints, the Eagles are minus five, the over under is 46 and a half. The Giants, Giants fans are saying, how about those Giants? We might make the playoffs. Dave, is that crazy? Yeah, I think it is crazy, although in that NFC East division, and everybody's so bad, it's tough to tell. That's call why it, they, I, I call it, right the NFC least? least? Least. I like that. Uh, listen, I've been saying week in and week out, people laugh at me. Mm -hmm. I've been saying, when do you give Nick Foles a chance? He was the Super Bowl MVP, played perfect football in the playoffs. When do you give him a chance? People laugh. I get it. Wentz is the hut name. He was the toast of the town last year. I get all that. Here's the facts. He stinks. The Eagles stink. You, you can keep laughing and be like, oh, why would he ever bench him? He stinks. He's terrible. He's making bad passes, overthrows, interceptions, missing guys. He's not the same guy. He's not the same guy. The, the Giants are horrible, but I'm not, I will not continue to lose money on the Eagles. I won't do it. I'm going to take the Giants out of principle here. As long as Carson Wentz is the quarterback of those scumbags, they won't win another game. We haven't fun yet, Lane Johnson? We haven't fun yet? I ask you, Lane Johnson, we haven't fun yet? The answer is no. Ooh, okay. You know what, Dave? I completely agree with you. I am done losing money on the, the uh, Eagles, and I am back to losing money on yeah. the Giants. Oh, I love betting the Giants. I love losing on the Giants. It's something about it. The helmet comes out, and it's like, man, big blue, Eli, he's going to do his thing, and then I lose. But that's okay. I'm okay. I'd rather lose with the Giants than lose with the Eagles being like Super Bowl champions. Where are they? I also will give the Giant fans credit. They were loud and into that game yeah. for a team yeah. that absolutely stinks and yeah. has no business even being in the league. Credit to that. A little bit of delusion, you might say. Stu, uh, who do you like in this game? You are so bad I'm, at picking I'm, Eagles games. I'm going to take, like. take these notes, and I'm going to throw them. Oops, I got caught behind me because this is a no-brainer. This is the Eagles by 70. 70. First quarter, Eagles 28 0. Halftime, Eagles 51, Giants 3. Third quarter, Eagles 74, Giants 10. And then it's 81 10. As you get it, Nick Foles comes in for the fourth quarter. It's all Eagles! Listen, don't get sucked into the Giants bandwagon. They won two in a row. They're a dog shoot team. And the Eagles are. Is that play? Pew, pew, yeah, pew, that pew, 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 pew. Pew, they stink too. But it's all Eagles! Do you like money? Then you like the Eagles. It's a tough game. They both stink. They both stink. Tommy, you are a Giants fan. Give us a little bit of the heartbeat of Big well, Blue and a stat, maybe. Since Odell Beckham said the Giants were going to run the table and go 8-0, they are an undefeated juggernaut of 2-0. Mm. However, they do always lose to the Eagles. 6-15 and against the spread, their last 21 against Philly. Ooh. That I don't love. That is yeah, saying tough. I'm still taking the Giants, though. I, like I said, it's one of those things I know I'm going to lose. I know I'm losing, but I'd too. rather I'm lose. Winning. I'd rather lose with the underdog and the Giants here than 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 have five points with whatever the Eagles I, are putting. I've out been there. betting on the Eagles every single week. Yep. Every single yep. week, and they have been letting me. I didn't last week at the Saints, but I still kind of did because of the over and didn't think they'd only score seven. It's one of those moments where I understand why Vegas always wins because suckers like us say Super Bowl defending champions and keep losing. Well, them. I mean. I I was off them when they lost as my mortal lock to the Cowboys, but the fact that you can only score seven points in a 50-whatever game, Ugh. get out of here, Carson Wentz. Get out of my kitchen. Okay. Go, go. Uh, go last, go. yeah, get out. Go. Get on. Go on. Run on. Run go. along. Get Run along. Run along. Seems Run like along. a nice guy, but Run go. along. Okay, we're going rapid fire here for the last pick before we take a break. It's Seattle at Carolina. Carolina's minus three and a half. Over under is 47 and a half. The Panthers are reeling. The Seahawks coming off a big Thursday night win against the Green Bay Packers. They have a little extra rest in there. I got to tell you guys, I'll start. It's the Seahawks. The Seahawks, they run the ball now. They have done a good job of basically reimagining their team on the fly. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year, and I can't trust the Panthers right now. I can't trust them. Yeah, I, on this very show, 
I believe I said they were one of the teams that could, or maybe it was the after show, win the Super Bowl. There were six teams. The Panthers were amongst them. Since then, they've just laid egg after egg after egg. They look like trash. They don't look good. They, they, they scored one touchdown at Pittsburgh in their season. Ended. Yep. They gave up 52, and they look like crap against the Lions. Um, Side note, that Seattle game, Hannah the weather girl, you want to talk to I took her pick in that game. She gave me the Packers. After the uh, Packers scored the first touchdown, I got a text. See, I told you. I tried. Thank, that's why oh, you should trust me. Oh, she, no. She's an amateur. Amateur. Come on. I didn't respond. I, just, I was so oh. mad. Ooh, I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm so mad. I'm still mad. I can't even look. I can't even look. Don't mad. you know the look. deal? Will not look. You're going to do that after one second into the game? Honey, I've been Ugh. doing this for my entire life. You she, don't do that. She knows she's so wrong, she's not even responding to this. Can't Hung, look. Hungry dog runs faster. I'm taking Carolina. Okay, Stu, I just need the pick. I don't need anything else. No wind-up. Just give me the pick. I love Carolina. They're going to absolutely blow Seattle out here. This is a wire-to-wire -wire Panther. Panther. <laughs> Carolina Panthers. Okay, let's finish with Hannah. Give us the weather, Carolina, on Sunday. It is going to be a beautiful day. It is going to be 61 and completely sunny. Okay, I love that weather for the Seahawks. The Seahawks plus three and a half. Take it right now. Take it to the bank. We'll be back with more picks right after this. Barstool Sports Advisors. Barstool Sports has to exist. It has to because we're one of the few places, maybe the only place on the internet, where we don't let agendas dictate what we do. For 15 years, people who have followed this company know we just talk, shoot the shit, try to be funny, don't let PC America get the best of us. We'll continue to do that. They gotta cater to what all the complaints and the few say. We do not, we will not, and it, it'll continue to rise. The only thing that may change for all you stewies out there, we may eventually be like, you know, we gotta take money out of your pockets now and stuff. By the way, people are like, I sold out, this is cheap. I didn't fucking sell out. If I sold out, I'd be in Nantucket surfing 24 seven. Hey, hey, yeah, come again. FanDuel.com Viva is now the official home of all our advisor picks. You can go there, see our records. You can trail me, bet on me. Right now, I'd trail me, fade me. Fades through, always fades through. Whatever you want to do, not only that, but you can jump in the $1 Beat Dave contest or PMT's weekly leaderboard. There's still time to win a trip to Hutland in February for the Super Bowl. Even if you haven't played yet, it's not too late. Get involved. FanDuel.com slash Viva. FanDuel.com slash Viva. Everything you need to know. And if you're in Jersey, use a promo code STOOL on the FanDuel Sportsbook. If you're not betting, you're not playing. If you're not playing, you can't win. FanDuel.com slash Viva. Everything you need to know is there. Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. It's time for the best gambler on the show. He actually had a bad week last week. It is Larry the Goldfish. Let's check out who Larry has. Big Cat. How is Larry the Goldfish doing this year in the Vegas Super Contest? Good question. Let me check the standings real quick. I think he's doing really well. Wow, looks like he is tight in first place. Who the heck is Barry? Barry the Goldfish. Wait a second. Every one of his picks has been the exact same as Larry's. Someone has been stealing our picks. Wow, a rival goldfish. How the heck are they stealing the picks? And who the heck is behind this? All right, excellent work, my bubbly brothers. The Barstool crew is now fully aware of Barry the Goldfish. Now we will use him as a distraction to finally get our hands on the precious Barstool HTML code. We need to figure out who is behind this. Aren't we worried that they might figure out who is behind this? No. I leaked some wrong information to a Barstool employee to keep them off our trail. Guys. I have some news. The pick stealer's identity was leaked. I know exactly who it was. Who was it? Condoleezza Rice. Now, we feed them Barry as bait and distract them while we download that sweet precious code. Wow, we really have to backstab Barry like that? Aren't you worried that Barry is going to snitch and tell them it's us? No. Why not? He has the memory of a goldfish. Barry, we have you trapped. Now tell us who sent you. Who is your leader? Honestly, dude. I have no idea how I even got here. 
Finally, the code is ours. Okay, so what now? Send him back to the Black Sea. What? He's literally Romanian. Hey guys, we're going to be playing on FanDuel all season and we need every AWL to come play with us. If you don't give FanDuel a shot, you're pretty much saying you don't want to hang out with PFT and I at the Super Bowl in Atlanta. Plus, new users get a $20 bonus when they make their first deposit on FanDuel. Come play at, with us at FanDuel.com slash PMT. That's FanDuel.com slash PMT. There'll be a season-long leaderboard, and winner at the end of the season will win a trip to the Barstool Super Bowl party in Atlanta. Not only that, but places 2 through 50 will win an autographed PMT car stick, and we're going to be giving out cool weekly prizes as well. Check them out, FanDuel.com slash PMT. Okay, thanks, Larry, for the pick. We got two more games before we get to our mortal lock. Boys, the first one up, Pittsburgh at Denver. Pittsburgh minus 3.5, over-under is 47.5. Now, I'm just going to say this a little, like the Schwamm used to do this, his little time machine. Whenever these two teams play in Denver, one name comes to mind. Dave? Or Jerome Bettis. Oh, I was going to say Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, the playoff game, 1-0, 1-1 against in the playoffs. He hits that slant, and everything changes for – actually, nothing changed because he was a bit terrible quarterback. He got cut not soon after. Not so, because he didn't win games. No, that's true. That's true. Tebow mania was something else. Marion Barber, people don't forget, you should have gone out of bounds. You didn't. That started Tebow mania. That's here, neither here nor there. Pittsburgh minus 3.5. At Denver, over-under is 47 and a half. Dave, give me a winner, please. I haven't done this in a while because I've been obviously losing if you've been falling lately, but I congratulate, my, congratulate myself for the Denver Broncos pick yesterday against yeah, the Chargers nice. because I hated Congrats. the Broncos. I hated the Broncos. Thank you, Dan. Yes, hey, I, congratulations. Thank you. I hated the Broncos. Yeah, I have a sweaty your, hand. Your hands are really clammy. Are they sweat? Are they always Ugh. sweat here. I don't know why. They're Ugh. sweaty. Shoot me, Dan. You, I didn't offer the handshake. My you hand is nice and no, dry. I'm not going to do that dry again. A bone. No, my hands are sweaty. I get sweaty hands. Never shakes. You know why, Dan? I haven't slept in three weeks. I got two basketball games going right now. I can't get a winner, so I get sweaty hands. Deal okay. with it. Um, anyways, great pick yesterday, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stick with the Broncos here that just because the Chargers – I the Chargers. I'm all over the place. Because the Steelers are coming off one of the more dramatic wins of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Ben led him back, 60-0. Put the, the dagger in the juggernaut, Jaguars, as you like to call them. I think this is tough at home. Broncos still playing with emotion, so I'll take them here. Okay. Stu, who do you have in this game? I uh, love Steelers who just closed the Broncos season out. I had Broncos, and I had under in the game against the Chargers, so I went 2-0 there. I think the Steelers will just roll into Denver and destroy them. It's men against boys. Their offense really is not playing well, Denver. I like Steelers. I really do. They're making a late run. I think it's a let's get around it, hug it out, kumbaya, screw Levy and Bill. Let's win the Super Bowl with Adam. Let's show the world. Mike Tomlin has them in that focus it's all Pittsburgh it's Steelers route okay uh, before we get to our stats I want to check in the weather in the mile high city Hannah what is the weather gonna be like in Denver on Sunday well I'm gonna tread lightly here because last time I told you it was gonna snow in Denver it didn't that much but it does say there's a, a slight chance of it snowing so it's going to be 39 with a chance of snow okay so I like that weather, Tommy. Give us a stat before I make my official pick. The last time the Pittsburgh Steelers lost a regular season road game in regulation, Barack Obama was still the president. It has been over two years since the Steelers have done that. That stat 18, is 12, erroneous and right now. I'm saying that's absolutely not true. You're saying the, the last line. time the last time the, the Steelers, Steelers have lost a regular season road game in regulation, November 6, 2016. There's no way that's, that's true. That's true. They've lost There's one road no game since then, overtime in Chicago. Otherwise, There's they've... no way that's true. Well, it's true. They lost to the Patriots in the playoffs, but regular season road game in regulation, 
November 6, 2016 at Baltimore. Okay, I don't believe that stat. Well, I'm taking the, the Broncos because I don't believe that stat. Do you believe that stat? Look at him in the eyes. Do you believe that stat? Tell me, look at me. Yeah, I believe it. Okay. Yeah, right. Hazel eyes don't stat? lie. We find out. Realize. And they're cute. Tommy, you ever hear the saying? Realize, realize, realize. Yeah. Okay, think that. Think about that for a second. <laughs> Let's do our last game. Green Bay at Minnesota. Minnesota's minus three and a half. Over under is 48 and a half. This is a loser leaves town yeah. matchup. I, or you, I'd like to call it you are what you are bowl. Oh. These are two teams that consistently are getting the hype. You get Kirk Cousins saying, hey, we're the reason we're playing on night. Why? You guys aren't that good. Mm-hmm. You lost to the Bills by 100 earlier yep. this year. You just got squawked the other week. Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers this, Aaron Rodgers that. All he does is lose games. Mm-hmm. Get two teams lose games. I'm going this route. Tommy, I'm so into your stats. Do you have a stat here? Yeah, I have it. So Aaron Rodgers is very good off of a loss. 30-21-1 and one against the spread following a loss since 09. That's the sixth best mark in the league. Okay. 30-21-1 off of a loss. It's not that loss. great, but I'm going to don't think, just throw. And I don't think these Vikings are very good. I really no. don't. I don't think the Packers are very good either. I'm going to go with that stat. I'll take the Packers. I'm going to second week in a row. I listen to someone on this panel and probably get screwed for it. Well, here's hmm. the thing, Dave. The game is prime time. The game is at night. That means Kirk Cousins has to play a night prime time game, and he always shows up flat for those. Kirk Cousins is the type of guy, he'll get you when no one's watching, but when the country's watching, they say, that guy made $90 million? For a guy who makes $90 million, he has some of the worst throws known to man. Ever. Yeah. Ever. You don't have to throw after you make $90 million. You don't uh, have to do true. anything. Nothing. That's true. All right, so, Stu, give us your Sunday night lock. Okay, first of all, this is the game you've been paying me for all year, and extremely respectable and extremely profitable. Eight and three, eight and three, eight and three. Lost last Sunday night with the under, which was criminal. They scored 25 points in eight minutes. They scored seven points in the last minute. That blew the game for us. Had the Bears over the Vikings, but wasn't the best bet. So listen, listen, listen. This game right now, I want you to bet everything you want on the side and the total and the parlay. That's the bottom line. Side, total, parlay. Get over to StuFinder.com. Pay me for this parlay. You're going to love me. You're going to say, Stu, I love you. Stu, happy Thanksgiving. Prayers and salutations to your family. Ready to roll. It's a parlay. Get over to StuFinder.com right now. I got to talk. StuFinder.com. StuFinder.com. Okay. uh, Let's take a break. Our last break. Uh, Did I make a pick? Yeah, I'm taking the Packers. I'm taking the Packers because of the Kirk Cousins, because of the fact that if he's on prime time, that means the Vikings are going to lose. I don't trust him. I like Tommy's stat. Plus three and a half is a lot, don't you think? Yeah, I may even bump that up to a cool four. I've been buying points a lot lately and just losing every time. I love eating that double juice. You know what? Feed me that double juice like a fool. Make yourself feel better. Buy a whole point. Why not? Yeah. Go to minus 140. Yeah. 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 Who cares? cares? Just... doesn't matter when you're down this much. It's just matter. money. It's just money. Right. Winners, just winners, money. winners. Okay. Everyone dies. Winners, winners, winners. Dave, that's true. We all die. Winners, yeah. winners, winners. He, die a I'll winner. tell you what. He on your die a winner. He who has the most toys still dies. Yes. Dave, on your dying bed, you're not going to be sitting there being like, man, wish I hadn't bought that point. No. Okay. So let's take our last break. We come back. We'll do our mortal locks. Build me up, build me up, buttercup, baby, don't you let me down. The worst in a round and the worst in all. Never thought I have been just a single one. I gotta say, I need you, I need you more than anyone, darling. You know I could take it my heart. Fill me up, fill me up for all the time. With my heart. Oh my God, the dog fire! Let me say something right now! I own Sunday night! Die! Total parlay! I'm gonna give it to you at stoopfighter.com! I'm not screwing around! Don't let this make you scary! I own this game! Sorry! Total parlay! Sorry! Total parlay! Sorry! Total parlay! Stoopfighter.com! Free! 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 It's that time of the week, mortal lock time before we get to our mortal locks. Let's see our celebrity guest picker of the week last week, Bow Wow lost, bringing celebrity pickers to nine and three overall. But let's get back on the winning side with our celebrity pick of the week. Well, I'm backing up my game and I'm ahead out west. So the Ravens gonna beat the AFC West. John Gruden's a bum, he can't coach. The Ravens looking good, Lamar Jackson. Okay, it's time. Boys, I think I've lost. I don't know, 
15 mortal locks in a row. That doesn't even make sense. There's only been 12 weeks of the NFL season. I cannot win a mortal lock to save my life. I have a mortal lock for this week that will win, guaranteed. You do. I do. But you I do. Want, I do. No, you I do. do. I do. do I, There's two ways to still, spell do. I do. D-U-E or D-O. You're both. I'm do and do. Think about that. Okay, Stu, give us your mortal lock. Jacksonville Jaguars are going to roll into Buffalo and destroy them. I'm 7-4 and four on mortal locks on the show. Very respectable. Last week, Indianapolis Colts, I think, won by 500 as my mortal lock. Extremely respectable. 3-2 and two winning on the show also. But I think Jacksonville's defense is going to be too strong, too much. Buffalo's defense is going to come to play. This will be a bloodbath. This will be more hard hits and people carried off the field. But you lay the number with Jacksonville. Feel comfortable. It's a mortal lock. It's a yeoman lock! Jack! Jaguars, juggernaut in this game. Wow. Jaguars. Okay, the Jaguars are back to being a juggernaut, Dave. Dave, you actually win your mortal lock, so I'm very interested. I'm taking out my pen and I'm gonna write it down. Yeah, thank you, Dan. So I am, I believe, five and seven on mortal lock. So I appreciate that. Or six. No. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but so, no, I'll take. But it. I'm writing it down. Well, you know what it is. <laughs> I that, took the pen out. That, that I believe is uh, <laughs> Philip Lombardo and the recency experiment because last week I did have the Colts and as Stu said they won by 100. I'd also take a second and say Stu, that's the worst pick I've ever heard. If you're gonna mortal lock the Jags, get out of here. The Jags are done. They're finished. They had their heart ripped out. They don't won't even show up in Buffalo. I'm just saying that for all the fans out there, don't listen to him. I'm plugging in, right here. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm seeing the Chargers very clearly. Mm. There's a lightning storm. There's an electricity storm. Mm -hmm. The Arizona Cardinals, you can't beat the Raiders, Stu? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Chargers, <laughs> big. Whoa! I feel like Whoa. I got baptized by the pres. Baptized. Baptism. Oh! Chargers, big, okay. All right, here, my mortal lock. Look, see this? I've been a turkey, I told you. What is my mortal lock record? Not great. My mortal lock record. You ready for this, guys? You ready for this? I'm ready. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find it. I would tell you, but I can't find it. So my mortal lock record stinks. I'll just say that right now. It absolutely stinks. It's actually stinks. seven and seven, Dan. I'm seven and oh. nine, so you're in better shape than okay, I am. My mortal lock record is not that bad. But here's a guaranteed winner. Shows I'm you the level, though, that we hold ourselves yes. to. Listen, the people out there, they say, hey, you give me bad advice. Hey, listen, no one is harder on themselves than me. Me, I got the turkey head on because I think I'm a turkey. Turns out I'm seven and seven, and about to go eight and seven on my mortal locks. Here it is, the Cleveland Browns. Woo. Plus three against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals should not be favored against anyone. Hugh Jackson, revenge game. All those guys hate Hugh Jackson. Baker Mayfield hates Hugh Jackson. He told me himself, maybe he That's didn't. That's information. Maybe he didn't, yes, but he maybe did. he did. He Who did. knows? He did. Uh, Greg Williams Print hates it. Hugh Jackson. They all hate Hugh Jackson. Marvin Lewis hired Hugh Jackson. Print it. The Browns are going into Cincinnati. They are going to kick the shoot out of Hugh Jackson. And that is my mortal lock. Take that, that, take that, FCC. Take that, FCC. Thought you had us. In you. Like we'll acid in your mouth. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see everyone next week. Barstool B. Sports B. Advisors. Saved it. Saved it. Can't keep me down. Smarter than you.